y'all can't see me. Kaiser souls, they pull the strings like I am POTUS. Al Pacino, I'm reloaded. If they see me, then I fold them. Had to kill them, cause he knew too much. That coupe I drive is murder up. Then tent, you can't see much. I drive it, night and tagging us. Bitch, I can't afford to be known. They do not know what I've shown. You just know what I have shown. Been living life all alone. Shit. All right, you guys, it is day. I don't even know because it's been so long now. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, four, five, six. Today is day 26. Woo! Almost done with this thing. <laughs> yeah, but I felt great at the gym today. I was doing legs. Like, I didn't feel like a weak piece of, piece of shit, so that's good. I was squatting pretty good. I felt fed, felt energized, which is not how I've been feeling all week. I've been feeling tired and hungry. I think with the intermittent fasting, by the time I get back from the gym and want to eat, I end up eating most of my meals just all at once because I'm so hungry. And it, you may have experienced this too if you work out, uh, but you just feel like you've got this huge appetite once you're done working out. Like you could just consume everything in your path and consume more after that. So that's how I feel. And like yesterday, I finished eating all my meals by 2.30 p.m. Oh. So I went 18 hours without eating after that because I ate this morning at like 8 a.m. That's not usual for me. I wanted to show you guys this. So this is my post-workout meal that I'm doing. This is a dessert pizza. So I've got the pizza crust. It's low carb, it's got like 26 carbs. Low to me, may not be low to you. I put a half scoop of cage mussels protein in there and just put a little bit of almond milk in there and mix it to a decent consistency so it could be like an icing over it. So it tastes like cinnamon roll. And then I put the, uh, the blackberries on top. Super good. I, as you can see, I had one bite because I had to test this bad boy out. Very good. And the macros on this are, this pizza has 18 grams of protein, 36 grams of carbs, and two and a half grams of fat. So pretty low on the fat. A little higher on the carbs than I wish it was. I wish it was half that. Protein's good as well. Um, but I have no problem meeting my protein limits because I'm only at 180. I'm normally used to hitting around 200, 220. And though that number's a little harder for me to meet, but 180 I get there no problem. That's where I'm at. And I've got a couple more days. I know that on Thursday we're going to the Outback and I spent like 30 minutes on their website looking at their entree salads, getting really frustrated because they don't have an option that just says without dressing for the entree salad. They have it with the side salad, but not the entree salad. So I was like trying to do the math, trying to figure it out, trying to be as precise as I can. I'm excited though, because I haven't, I haven't gone out to eat since I started this. And that, you know, I could have, it was just my choice to, you know, to not, kill a whole bunch of my macros just because I wanted to have a high nutrient meal out at a restaurant. I've already got plans to go to sushi next week, so man, I've been craving sushi. Ah, and some sake, woo! I will update you guys on a later date, and we will be wrapping up the last week of this series very soon. What's going on? It's the end of week four, day 28. Something I forgot to say the other day, I was talking about how last weekend was going to be the hardest weekend because I had uh, the graduation, the wedding, and then a graduation party. And I actually did end up breaking my diet at the wedding. I went in with only like 900 calories in my system and then it was gonna be kind of hard to track the food there, so I just, tried eating some meat because I needed I think like another hundred grams of protein and then I had some beans um, that they, they had some sort of Mexican food now, I could have packed ahead of time I could have stayed prepared but at some point you know in my head I'm just like well like do I really want to do that or do I want to you know just enjoy the wedding and the wedding was like an hour and a half away yeah so I ended up having that food and then I also had some alcohol there Again, like I just felt like enjoying the wedding. It came down to what I wanted more and I broke under the temptation. But you know, that, that stuff happens. People do break, but the most important thing to do is to 
not let it become a habit and just, you know, like if you are diet dieting, just pick yourself back up. I was just trying to own up to it and not feel guilty about it because then that guilt would turn into stress. Stress isn't good for your mental health or your health in general, so it's just a bad loop. So if you do end up slipping up, my advice is to just just move on. Yesterday I went to BJ's Brew House. That's the first time I've gone out to eat since I've been on this diet because of my friend Colton's birthday. And I had this fire, this wood fire grilled chicken and black bean and rice. It's one of their enlightened meals, so it's like under 600 calories. So I fit that into my diet and it was pretty good. Not very filling. Um, but normally when I go there, you know, I'd be getting like a burger or deep dish pizza. So that would have just completely thrown me through a loop. And then today I'm going to the Outback for my wife and my stepdad's birthday. And I'm getting a Caesar salad with the dressing on the side. Those really big restaurants normally have a nutrition guide on their website. Uh, you know, local restaurants probably will not, so there's a lot more guesswork into it. That's why I haven't gone to a local restaurant while on this diet. I don't know what I weigh right now because the gym scale broke. And this happened the same time last year when I was doing my diet before Cabo again last year. So it's kind of frustrating having put in all this work and I like to use the same scale consistently because it's hard to find a scale that is calibrated perfectly and I don't even know if such a thing exists but when you use the same scale at least you can go off of that and because that scale is broken right now if I switch to you know try out my parents scale or something their scale might be coming in at different weights and so it's just it kind of sucks and I'm really hoping it gets fixed yeah I will check in with you guys on another day all right what's going on guys it is the end of the program I finished the program a couple days ago and I'll throw up the before and after photos right now. I lost about 10 pounds and like an inch, inch and a half off my waist. I don't know for sure on the weight because the gym scale broke, you know, kind of sucky, but it's all right. I know I did lose a good amount of weight. When I finished the program, I had pancakes, wet burrito, alcohol, pizza, like it was bad. I mean, it, didn't help that it lined up on my wife's birthday. We had a game night. So now I'm just trying to get back on track and stay on my grind and you know try and keep some of the weight off. That whole macronutrient plan was supplied by Movement Nutrition, which is ran by Jacob Zilstra. I would recommend that you guys check him out if you are looking to do something similar. You know, these plans don't have to be three months or four months like you can get a lot done in one month or you know like maybe you do want something more long term but not as drastic as me you just gotta talk to him and you guys can develop a plan highly recommend him got a lot done in four weeks thanks for watching the four week transformation program i hope you enjoyed it this is where i end the vlog i will see you guys later don't make them like me step down from the piece real recognize real so i don't see nothing